petition, so he signed the waiver. So if you're coming here to try it, you have to sign the waiver first down by Deb down there. The idea of the caber, it was always thrown for accuracy, not for distance. So the story was that kilted men in Scotland didn't want to get their kilt or their feet wet, so they would pick up the caber and throw it in the river so it could float down the water to the mill, or they would flip a caber over a bog so they could walk across without getting wet. So that's why it's thrown for accuracy. The whole Highland game thing was to try and fix, pick the fastest, the strongest men. The fastest men were used as couriers, the strongest men were used as king's bodyguards. So the Highland games were to decide who the strongest men were, and he would pick the top two or three to be his bodyguards. So the caber is Gaelic for tree. So right now we're using, for the Guinness World Record, we're using a minimum of 55 feet, a minimum of 14.7. What you're going to do is you're going to create, your, your body's going to create a triangle. Your hands are always interlaced together like this, never come apart. When I go to pick this caber, I'll look at it, you see every tree is different. Every game you go to, every caber is different. This one has a slight hook at the top. I like hook back. It's explosive energy. You gotta do everything quickly. For the Guinness World Record, we'll have a count dog. They'll go five, four, three, two, one, pull. And we all have to pull in the same time, or your caber doesn't count in the total number. I'm gonna create a tripod with my body. Triangle. My hands are interlaced together. The caber should almost stand by itself. Okay? That's the position I want to have it. I don't want to bring it into my shoulder because then all the weight's behind me. I get the caber, my hands as close to the bottom as I can, pop it, pick it, one step and pull.